Buick and Sabre. Only has reverse. Got to drive her back to the shop in reverse. Just call it box, no big deal. It's pretty clean. Yeah, but. Well, hopefully a third time's a charm. Yeah, no shit. Third different tranny in the old 78 Buick. Uh, 78 Buick with Sabre. Turbo 350, but we're gonna put this metric 200 in her out of that piece of shit. 82 Cadillac with a old 350 diesel that I've got for 160 bucks. Some guy's supposed to come pick her up for 150 later, so charge him 50 bucks for this one and yeah. leave my money back. There she goes. Well, there she goes. Finally get to try her out. After how many months now? So Cody ended up selling the 78, but while we were at an old salvage yard uh, looking for trannies and torque converters and stuff, uh, we saw this brown 85 Buick sitting there. So we ended up winching up on the trailer and getting her for a good deal and having some fun with it. Picked up a 79 Pontiac Bonneville back in 2019. Ended up having a lot of fun with it. It even had a wood bumper that I ended up changing out. Made a custom one. It had some camshafts on it that I never even got pictures of. Everybody loved it. But uh, spent some time painting it up. Made her look good. Put the wheels off the 78 on her. And ended up selling it. One day when a guy stopped in. Wasn't even planning on it. But he liked it and brought her home. nice shit brown seats in really good shape this thing was beautiful doors are pretty good absolutely solid down here she's a Canadian version Even got that fuel economy gauge. Got a nice working clock. It's running a little rough right now, but. We'll, we'll take care of that. A nice working blower motor.
Well, the plugs are all fouled out, so we're going to throw in some new ones. A couple other interesting things here that I haven't seen on these any of these B-body cars. The old Can Canana version here. It's got a Hydro Boost power brakes. It's pretty cool. This is an 84. As far as I know, starting in 81, all the cars had a computer-controlled carb and distributor. This one doesn't have any of that BS on it. it. Does have an overdrive tranny though, with wires for the for the overdrive lockup torque converter. Not quite sure all that works, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. Use limited slip differential fluid. Friends up north in Canada need that. Posse, get around in the snow up there. This thing is just insanely clean. My first wagon I ever had, my first demo car, it was absolutely beautiful. I drove it home three hours, and the only part of rust was right there in that spare tire hole there, and this one ain't even got any there. What a shame that a tree had to fall out of it. That new brake line's back here. Complete intact exhaust with the cat still. Got the good old nice and junked auto lights in her. From about 1990. All right, got the plugs changed. Got the stupid tox lock out of here. See how this thing will burn off. I got it from I'll have to keep oh, the man, dude. Oh. Just turn her to keep her turn she goes down, eh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She don't go back she up. She don't go back up, eh? Always got a mint old too. She wants to keep wants to save this mint tailgate. We'll Gotta go check out the seat. third third row seat in here. Can't get her up all the way, but It'll work. Oh, I like it. Oh. Right. oh, fucking mad, dude. Can ride back here just fine. Especially when this thing's actually where it's supposed to be. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Go for a rip. Maybe awesome, I, let's go. Maybe I should just fix her. Fix the rough and put a windshield in her and daily and get a window for over here. Oh, got a, got a meant ass right front door. Yeah, you know, after fucking 87. That. Back in 2010 was the first time that I'd ever drove a nice old car before. This beautiful 1986 Buick Electra state wagon. We drove her home three hours and I just, I could not believe how nice and quiet and smooth it drove. I drove it around for a couple days before I had to strip it for my first demo derby that I got third place in. That thing ended up lasting five demo derbies before I finally had to get rid of it. But man, I would love to find 
car like that again nowadays for five hundred dollars then my next one was an 88 chevy caprice uh, i enjoyed that and drove her around for a while before turning it into a derby car and my buddy abe rode with me and it grew a lo uh, love for him in old cars between me and my buddies we've had to have had at least 30 of these cars in the past 10 years they're getting harder and harder to find and they're much better drivers than they are derby cars Thanks for watching.